theme of this evening is managing the inevitable. We've been doing things so long for so long. So let's talk about energy consumption because energy is the, the uh, base of our economy. That can't be ignored. The world between now and 2030 is going to use about 55% more energy than it uses right now. That's something that's pretty compelling. Part of what I see is to get the story out. If you took all of the wind, all the electricity generated by wind in the entire United States. Currently the reigning champion of green chemistry is Pittsburgh. Put that energy in a bottle and handed it to New York City on January 1st. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity for what? And said, that's your source of power. They would have been out of power at the end of April. That concerns me. Open the front page of the Washington Post about a year ago, and it says that because of these endocrine disrupting chemicals, 80% of the male bass in the Potomac River have changed gender. I don't know how you turn the page and say, I wonder how the Redskins did today. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity for what? The second revolution, the second industrial revolution. We're sitting on it right now. And why am I so optimistic that we can do this?